helps you a bit to show you how even a big drawing like this can be taken on section by section, one piece compared to another. And you see I hold my pencil loosely like a paintbrush out there, big mark, not drawing little tiny marks in like this. I'm out here so I can see the whole thing and compare shapes up. That's ready to go ahead and paint now then. Lighter creams at first, just even objects like that by just using a roller across and feeling the colours that we like there. I don't think we will, I think we're going to take it a bit further yet. Just outside something to get the effects we want. This one is kind of going to just indicate, let's not go into too much detail, just indicate these, these shapes and come in and around them again in a minute as well. So I'm just making the salient marks, the most important marks about these objects. Just to, just to blend it a fraction, I don't like that corner dropping off there. Even just more like that, that can make just a difference look. Okay, we'll sign it. Well here we are then, there's a scale of the thing, it's quite a large one, quite fun. Next we're down to 2430s again, more cafe scenes still, some very different effects to do both with brush and with rollers. The dust. We've got a coat of varnish now to bring the colours out. I think that should be quite nice. You can see the different effects we're getting with these different colour sequences, the palettes if you like. My basic palette has all the same colours in it, just because of many I actually want to use. Look along the side so we can see what has not been
But we're almost there with this one. I worked onto it last night. You can see because of that in yellow light, it's gone very yellow. So today I need in the daylight to pull back the blues into this to finish it off. another 24 uh, 30 to do and then I'm going to do a larger one um, and I suppose to be onto smaller ones but I do have a, another larger one I might try. Well if you thought any of the others were difficult although this is on a slightly smaller scale you should try drawing this one it's probably the hardest I've done yet all of these tables in ellipses in perspective and all of the uh, shapes and the figures in proportion with the lines and perspective of the walls and the lights going on around here the ellipses looking down level with our eyes looking up at them here it's uh, a very difficult one to do. enough on this one actually I was going to do a bit more today with the cooler colours but don't really think it needs it. The blues are enough in it to keep it subtle it's nice and warm. We'll just branch it up bring the colours out again. There we go that should do it. And on to a big one next. Okay 
Okay, we're on to the last one of this series at the moment. We're doing some smaller ones, but I've done all the 2430s and the medium size. And now, one last very large one. And then there'll be a few smaller ones to do in square ones. And that should finish off the uh, collection for this summer's exhibition. about enough before I go on to brushwork, I reckon. <clears throat> a lot of work to do on this one now, back in daylight again. Go on now with the brushes. For the moment, the last and the larger ones in this series. I like to do a few smaller, different shaped ones, square ones, rectangular ones, but uh, quite happy with this one. And I think it's been a fun series, a fun collection to make up. Well, that's finished that larger series on the uh, secrets and cafes. We need to do some smaller ones now as, as uh, a stopping filler, if you like. Need to make some uh, cheaper ones and also experiment and explore while I'm doing it. I'm going to take a photograph now, um, or a part of a photograph in fact, it's only a very small part of one, quite blurry here, um, and do it a totally different way. We're going to be using brushes now, not the sponge rollers as much. And uh, I'm not going to even bother drawing it out, I'm just going to go straight in with colour and just try and get an, uh, an illusion, an impression, a feeling of this uh, atmospheric street scene in the morning uh, with this rather nice lady walking across in the corner here. Um, this is what we can do by just loosening up. Okay, let's take a nice big flat brush and let's look at the design straight off. Got a much longer canvas than we have composition so I'm going to have to bring things down quite a bit and I've got some paints that are getting quite solid now so I'm going to have some fun just mixing those in and getting the feel of this. Uh, these slabs of paint. 
and then trying to get the proportions right as well. Do to get the atmosphere and effects for that lively um, street scene, cafe coffee in the morning, I reckon here. Alright, got some more colour out, so we'll continue. I need to start working up these darker colours here in a minute. Just get some of this lovely light. Now let's start with some of these lovely darks. Prussian blue and purple, thanks for that. Take some Prussian blue first of all, take some purple first of all, sorry, and some brown. Make a lovely dark here. Oh, some more paint out and now we'll take some brown. I've got plenty there. And we'll start to put that into here a little bit more. I'll get some more colours out there. Let's slap this colour in lovely and loose. Let's just enjoy these brush strokes and gestural marks as well as trying to find these tones. What to do is get the impression on, the feeling of these things going on here. We haven't paint them in detail at all. Right the way down there. Lovely, rich, deep blue dress. So we just going to plop in these shapes at the minute. Basically plop them in and, uh, and we'll stylise them and we'll come back to try to get more. You might think, oh god, it's like a child's painting. You could be right if a child was free as this. No, no. Why not? So if we're just standing in one place, I could paint those other paintings that have just been learned when the cows come home, but I need to, to move on and, and feel different ways of working. Slab this bed. Not trying to be, I'm certainly not trying to be careful about it. And it's so nice working this heavy colour up, especially now as my paint is becoming drier. In fact, over the, over the weeks of having this sprite, it's dried off a bit. So let's uh, continue with this. We'll uh, look at giving it a, a French feel. Simply with patterns and textures, light, dark, cool, warm, rough, smooth. I'm just making these up as I go along really, I mean it is, yes these things are there but I'm not uh, going to be exact about them. Just... There we go, now let's go into uh, starting to pick out different shapes of colours and things with a smaller flat, paint these shapes, light shapes in between as well as on, put some walls behind, some light shining through. Now let's see if we can start to get some of these colours. See the effect I'm trying to get now at least with these single strokes just in the right places, right colours, right places, right shapes and we should be able to get a figure of light and colour just with that one stroke there you see just single strokes of colour in the right places and we should be able to get this feeling of light across her leg. Smallest amount of colour is all that's needed. We've got to get these shapes dead on right. So if it's not so we've got to go back and adjust like this. Looking for looser ways of painting. Well, you know, apart from actually just making it a totally abstract design, you can't get much looser than I'm doing here now, can you? We're adding these little strokes of light, mind colour, in the right places. Hopefully, we can attain a. So, no drawing at all, just working up one colour against another. The more marks I put in at the right places, hopefully, the more the thing will appear to just be something. And it really is as to how much detail we want to go into and how much of an impression we actually want and not getting bogged down with. Now, hopefully, with a few colours placed, like next to dark, or next to cool, or next to smooth, and so on, we'll get this correct feeling of. various 
shapes, impressions of shapes behind here. So we'll just finish off now with some little darks into here and I think hopefully when I varnish, which I will do, the varnish will bring out more of these lovely colours. I think that's about going to do for this wee painting. Um, just to give you an idea, a bit of fun. Uh, 